Where did it come from 35? A crossout video by Dangerously Incompetent. Well, what do you know, Iron Shield pack has returned. The normal regular pack with the Goliath Drax is Steel Shield. That's still in the shop, but it used to be Iron Shield, but it's come back for a brief period. What do we get in this pack? We get the paint, Solomon's pattern, which you can really see there, can't you? Yes, well, it's just camouflage pattern. We get Dogs of War, sticker unique to Iron Shield. Uh, Fat Man, you can craft. Goliath tracks are in the Steel Shield. And Bedroll, Brace, Hellpipes, all in a decor container. The Catalina Deluxe Edition returns to the shop. No legendary workpiece, obviously selling well enough without it. We get the lipstick paint in here, that's in the Catalina, all the Catalina packs. We get Burn Injury paint, that's unique to Catalina Deluxe. Red Moon paint is in Catalina Deluxe and has been in other packs before. Twin Exhaust decor in other packs. Tail Fin, unique to Catalina Deluxe. Catalina Cabin, unique to Catalina. Days module is unique to Catalina. Buggy Wheels, they're unique to Catalina. Retribution Fire Hologram, unique to Catalina Deluxe. Black Circle, unique to... Not unique to Catalina Deluxe. It came from a season, didn't that? Eyelash, however, and Walking Stick stickers are unique to Catalina Deluxe. White Square was in a season... Midnight paint is in lots of packs. White paint is in the decor container. Pestilence Deluxe Edition also returns. We get White Horse sticker that's unique to Pestilence. And Swamp Rats that's unique to Pestilence. Heat unique to Pestilence Deluxe. Strain unique to Pestilence. Egg left and right decor pieces unique to Pestilence Deluxe. Black Rats, unique to Pestilence Deluxe. Blight, unique to Pestilence. And Fever, Break Light, unique to Pestilence Deluxe. And Remedy, unique to the Pestilence Pack. And what's this? Uh, Victory Paint is in something else as well. But I forget what it is. Not unique to Pestilence Pack. Tango 1 Deluxe is back in the shop. What do you get? No legendary workpiece, so it must be selling well. You get ceramic armour paint, which is unique to Tango 1 Deluxe. You get dark green paint, unique to Tango 1. Quantum, you get the Tackler, which is unique to Tango 1 at the moment. Has been in other packs before. The King Mine Layer, unique to this pack, to Tango 1. Decorative Grill 1, Large Decorative Grill 1, Large Decorative Grill 2 are unique to Tango 1 Deluxe and maybe some of the other Assault Force Deluxe packs. Twin Lamps, unique to Tango 1 Deluxe. Insignia, Swarf, Service Numbers, Unit Code 2, Warning Sticker and Warning Line Sticker, unique to Tango 1 Deluxe. Also returning to the shop, Rascal Deluxe Edition. It was only here at the start of this month. <laughs> Come on. How often do they have to be on sale and still be on sale? Anyway. Uh, no workpiece. So selling well again. Breath of a Snowstorm paint, unique to Rascal Deluxe. Foxtail, unique to the Rascal. Covering Trails, Hubcap. Holograms, unique to Rascal Deluxe. Yokai, unique to Rascal. Interceptor, unique to Rascal. Long red lamp, red lamp, and short red lamp, unique to Rascal Deluxe. Before the Thunderstorm sticker, Fox's Squint sticker, unique to Rascal Deluxe. Exhaust 2 in the decor container. Midnight paint in lots of packs. The open beta test packs are back. 
This is the third year on the trot. They've come back on Crossout's anniversary in May. So let's look at them and see what we get in here. Ooh, some lovely coloured paints that shine nicely in when it's dark. Shame we don't have night mode very often. And they can be some nice little earner. Provided, of course, you're willing to wait like, you know, 10 months before you sell them. And you've got to sell them just before the packs come back into the into the shop again. See, look, it was up 265 and whew, it comes back. And slowly it'll gain across the year, I expect. So I'm buying a nice little investment stack of all these paints. Quartz paint is not unique to Immortal Warrior. It's in other tank packs that tend to come out around May the 9th, Soviet May Day. Willow the Wisp paint is unique to Immortal Warrior. Craftable, craftable. Exhaust 2 in the decor container. Carapace cabin is in other tank packs. Again, 9th of May. Um, but isn't in the shop regularly otherwise. And uh, decor container for the bedroll and decor container for the headlights. Tramp pack. We have Mirage Metallic, unique to this pack. Digital Desert, unique to this pack. Craftable, craftable. Exhaust 2 in the decor container. Bear Cabin is, is only in this pack in the shop at the moment. It has been in other packs, but not very often. Well, not recently at any rate. Square Cover is in the decor container. Midgar pack, we have Carbon, which is unique to this pack. Flame paint, which is unique to this pack. Horns is in the decal container. Exhaust 2 in the decal container. Fender extender in the decal container. Spoiler in the decal container. Fury medium cabin, unique to this pack. It might have been in other ones a long time ago, but it's not out regularly. And bedroll for decal container, square cover in the decal container, headlight in the decal container, headlights in the decal container. And finally, born to fly. Aluminium, unique to this pack. Lightning, unique to this pack. Golden Eagle is in... What's that pack in the regular shop? It's a regular shop pack. Where has it gone? I've forgotten its name. There it is, Born Free. That's got the Golden Eagle in it. So it's not unique to Born to Fly. Then Outer Fender is in the decal container. Hellpipe's in the decal container. Do you know how much these are going for? Ten cents. Why buy the back? <laughs> Round rate like in the decal container. The Inventor Pack is back in the store for Crossground for two days only. And if you didn't know, the Inventor is the original pack with the Icarus 4. We now have... Where is it? Have I just scrolled? I've just scrolled past it. Where you going? It's hiding from me. There it is, the Creation Pack, which has the Icarus 4s. which is regularly in the shop. What's in the Inventor that you might want to buy it then? Red Moon Paint, that is unique to the Inventor. White Sun Paint, which is in other packs. Icarus 4 Hover, which is in other packs. And then Brake Light Decor in the Decor Container and Headlights in the Decor Container. <laughs> and that's it. That's tradable. <laughs> Rubbish. The Keeper Deluxe is back for Cross Crowns. What are we getting here? Anything unusual? Oh, there it is. 4,000 in-game coins, which explains why this pack is selling rather well at the moment for 539 cross crowns. Because if you go to the shop for coins, what does 539 cross crowns get you? Uh, 2,500 coins. So it's much better value if you're just buying coins to buy the Keeper Deluxe pack. Which means there's an awful lot of the unique parts of this pack pack fledging around in the market right now pushing the price down so let's have a look at them shall we what we got we got half life life paint which is in this pack and other packs twin exhaust is in other packs blue lamp long blue lamp and short blue lamp are unique to keeper deluxe 
as is Azure Dragon Paint. Dark Gold Paint is unique to the Keeper packs. And then, of course, the Yong Wang. How's its price doing? Oh, look, coming down. Pl plummeting down, in fact. Mind you, it was on a bit of a spike up here, so it was coming down anyway, but now it's dropped even further. Everything else is craftable. And there's a couple of prestige parts hanging around. Also in the shop at this time, customization pack, Demon of the East. There is Nopera Bow sticker, Shoujo sticker, Jigoku sticker, and Demon of the East sticker. They're all tradable, but they've all been out before in the Demon of the East <laughs> customization pack, and they all came from the Syndicate season. Now a rather unusual pack, Wild Field. It's a new pack, never been seen before, only around for seven days. But it has no unique parts in it. All these parts are either craftable out of the regular paint containers or have been in other packs or are in other seasons or are just plain craftable right now on, on the regular workbenches. So why on earth, why would you want to buy this pack? Or is it just Targem? testing its whales, see how much they'll fork out for just a pack with stuff that can be sold. But I do notice that the Tormentor is required in... Where did it go? Well, I know where it went. I can't remember which one it was. Is it, no. In the Thursus. There you are. And also... The Chameleon, Mark II, is used in the Beholder. More on that in a little bit. So maybe that's why they put them out. See if demand for Tormentor and Beholder drives demand for this pack. Anyway, what have we got in it? A few coins, small increase in your vehicle parts limit. And we got Half-Life paint, which is in other packs. We have Aluminium and in other packs. Truck exhaust pipe, which was in the latest snowstorm pack, so that isn't so very common. What's its price? Yeah, see, I know it's legendary. Its price is about <laughs> well, a little bit over its salvage value, and that is price corridor shenanigans, obviously. Omnibox you can get from the founders if you did the founders season. I suppose that's what it's, what it's doing. Oh look, you're a new player, but you've got money to spend. You can't get an Omnibox, but you, you can't craft an Omnibox, but you can get it in this pack. Well, you can get it off the marketplace. It's cheap on the marketplace. Lacerators, they're from Snowstorm. Cheat, uh, they're all craftable. These are Bigfoots, just with a CK on it. They're craftable. Fog headlights. They're in a decal contain. No, they're not in the decal container. They were in a uh, season that has since gone away. Left side mirror, right side mirror. Where are they from? Season or a pack? Digger, that's really old. I can't remember where that came from. An external tank is in the decal container. Bumblebee paint is in lots of other packs. Emerald paint is in the deck in the paint container. Service ladder was from Founders, has been in a customization pack. Tank crate has been in other um, packs before, and the headlight set is in the decor container. And finally, let's finish on a high note. Something new and unusual. Lurking away on the engineer's secret workshop bench is a new relic with time limited crafting only 30 days why only 30 days probably because the devs are trying something new they want to see what happens if they only charge you 300 uranium for a relic instead of the regular where's 600 a relic 
But to compensate for only 300 uranium, they instead of charging two legendaries, they are charge charging four legendaries. And one of them is the Yomamori, which is rather expensive because it's not coming into the game. You can't craft it. It was in a season. It was a season-only crafted part. It's come back a few times by the back door by the degrading events, which we just had one. And now they're driving the price back up by increasing the demand. Why the Omamori? There are plenty of other season-only crafted parts could do with a bump up in price, like the Vindicators. I'm still sitting on seven. Still, you know, use them for something. Ah. Uh. But anyway, driving up the price of all more always again. Craziness. That's it for this video. Hit like, hit subscribe if it's been useful to you. I don't expect it to be useful to you, but, well, very useful to you. Immediately I release it, but it's a slow grow project because you'll look up things, you'll, years time you go, where did the Helicon come from? And you'll search for my channel for it and it'll turn up here. Anyway, goodbye for now.